So the kids are back from school. It's like tattletale galore as soon as they come back. And I'm just like. <laughs> Good morning. I text Benji. He's clear across the other side of the world. I can't put them in. Good morning, Kira. Come on, me. Benji's overseas, but he'll be back in a couple days. I don't know how he's able to travel and be at so many different places in a short amount of time. He said he's tired and I asked how many hours of sleep he got. Two hours. There's no way I could function off of two hours. Come on, eat your breakfast. So I stumbled upon these Cheeto puffs or generic Cheeto puffs. No artificial. Oh, this is the organic Target brand. Have you guys heard of it? Is it brand new? I've never heard of it. So I did a lot of shopping the last couple days and I told myself I'm not gonna buy any more Costco snacks because the kids end up getting bored of the snacks. And I'm like, you know, rather than doing that, I'm just gonna be getting smaller um, packages, not like the family size. So that way they could try different snacks throughout the weeks. And it doesn't get boring, you know? I'm trying to be like the cool mom, you know what I'm saying? Am I the cool mom, guys? Yeah. Hi, love. I also found these at Target. Little tiny boxes of raisins, but these are the Halloween yogurt edition. Yeah, and I remember as a kid, I loved yogurt raisins, so we're gonna add that in there as well. Let me see your mosquito bite. Oh, you know what? Why don't I put the on pan man? No more itchy. It's so itchy sometimes. Okay, well, you didn't even give it a second to work. Five, four, three, two, one. Is it itchy now? It's so itchy. As I was walking back home, I wanted to listen to a podcast. Not just any podcast, something that was inspiring, uplifting. And of course, the first person that came to mind was Oprah Winfrey. So I just typed in um, Oprah Podcast and I found one called um, Super Soul. I listened to a bit of it and now I'm going to fold clothes, do laundry. I just listened to the rest of it because I didn't want my day to be, I don't know, like wasteful. If you guys have any recommendations of podcasts where we can better ourselves please let me know what's a good one outside of oprah the airline forgot my luggage yes i'm here in the same clothes i've been wearing for 24 hours anyways i am here in china and i've had quite the interesting 24 hours last 24 hours actually i just slept um but the 24 hours before i, I fell asleep um i ate five times i think actually no let's see one no, seven times in 24 hours. I woke up and I worked out, ate breakfast. Then I went to the airport and I ate at the lounge. And then on the plane, I ate three times. I was trying to sleep, I couldn't sleep on the plane. The flight attendant insisted that um, they wanted to feed me. So I was like, I wasn't gonna say no. Free food on a plane, uh, give it to me. And it was delicious. Anyway, so then I ate also um, on the plane ride from Korea where our layover was back uh, to here in China. And I ate again here at the hotel. So I was stuffed seven times. I have not eaten seven times in 24 hours and I, I can't even remember last time. When we got to the airport in Korea, my layover was only about 30 minutes. We, we uh, landed a little bit late. It was actually scheduled to have a 45 minute layover, which is not even that um, uh, long. And if you know anything about the um, Seoul airport, it is it's huge and it's kind of complicated getting around. So even though the gate was right next to where we landed, we had to go all the way around, went through security again, went through the quarantine area, and then literally hustling. I had my jacket on, so I was sweating. I probably looked like I had some kind of virus, um, even though I didn't. I was just hot from running. I was in a wool jacket carrying all my luggage or whatever, at least my carry-on luggage. So I get to the airplane, we made it. We weren't late, even though they were boarding at that time. Got here, and then I'm waiting for my luggage here in China, and a lady comes up to me. I'm literally the last one at the baggage claim. And she's like, are you this person? And points to my name on the paper and then lets me know, yes, Korean Airlines forgot my luggage. 
in Seoul, Korea. So they said they're gonna uh, deliver it later today, but the last 24 hours, I haven't had any clothes, so I feel kind of gross in these old clothes. I had to go buy some Adidas so I could work out, and they gave me a hundred dollar budget, which doesn't seem like a lot. Uh, I guess it would hold you over to buy just you know, regular clothes, but then I wanted to buy some sneakers so I could work out. So that's what I did. And then, as I mentioned, I uh, finally got to the hotel, tired, like so tired. I was gonna work out, and uh, I wanted to try to keep my timing similar to um, home, so that when I get home, when I get back home, I'm not affected, but. I slept for seven hours, which I haven't done that and I can't even remember how long. Miss you, honey. Miss the girls, but uh, gonna be here with Judy's cousin, Cedric, as you guys know. I'm gonna take a picture. Please, no more pictures. Yeah, you can take a picture. I did get a little walk-in and I ate some free breakfast and I'm stuffed. Now I've gotta use the bathroom. All right, miss you girls. All right guys, I'm looking for good lighting and above my towel rack it is. I want to show you some cute, pretty, dainty little jewelry that my cousin started. It's funny because both of them are doctors and you could tell they're really passionate about jewelry and making jewelry because they don't, I mean, it's not like they really need a side business, they're doctors. So she sent me some of her jewelry and I thought I would share. These earrings are my favorite and they're cute because they dangle as you move. I want to show you some of their other pieces. So this one is for those fancier occasions. And they're affordable too. So that's what's really awesome. They're offering all my viewers 10% off the entire website. So isn't that pretty? And then on top of all that, they give their proceeds towards charities. So different charities each month. And for this month, they're donating 10% of their proceeds to the breast cancer research project or research i forget what it's called anyways congratulations Benton and marielle i still see them as my little cousins but they're grown i mean grown ass doctors so anyways check it out so cute i just took some pictures because how adorbs <laughs> oh my gosh so i posted all these pictures and i just realized there's another way to wear these earrings and I just noticed it because I was looking through my cousin's photos and it's, this is supposed to be in, okay, hold up. Jeez Louise Judy. This is how she created it. So it's not supposed to be like a, an anchor. It's supposed to be like a moon, like Luna. All right, it's supposed to be like this. I don't know. I like it like this too. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I like post it on Instagram and Facebook and everything. Freaking A, I'm just like an idiot, seriously. So the kids are back from school. It's like tattletale galore as soon as they come back. And I'm just like, <laughs> there was this meme I saw that I was cracking up at because it's so true. It was something around the lines of overhearing your kids saying, oh, I'm going to tell mommy. And then the mom goes, don't you dare tell me a thing. Something like that. And I'm like, oh, that's how I feel every time I hear it. Mommy, get your jackets. Mommy's not cooking tonight. We're going to go out to eat with... Auntie Mel. I think I, I kind of have like a crazy eye today. Like, no, not like a crazy eye, but like, I feel like crazy. Ooh, that's a pretty picture. This is what I love about Google when they show all those photos. You know what I mean? The Google screensavers. You guys, we're back. We went to McDonald's. It's so crazy because McDonald's, they totally changed up the layout. And even the checkout counter, there's only two registers. Both times that I went back up to the register, there's nobody there because everyone's working in the kitchen. They just want you to order on the order yourself pad. Um. What's it called? Oh, God, I can't think of, of the kiosk. You just order on the kiosk. But it seemed like it just took way more time to order on the kiosk because I didn't know where everything was. And I accidentally ordered hamburgers instead of cheeseburger Happy Meals. So that was a hot mess. Anyways, it's just interesting how much 
McDonald's has changed since I was a kid. Mel and I were saying it's more kind of cafe style. Oh, and it's a lot cleaner than I remembered. Anyways, happy to be home. Happy to be home in a very clean home. Now when I leave the house, I make sure it's spotless. So when I walk in, I'm not stressed and it really works. Now I just need to finish my room because I still have that pile of clothes on the floor. At least I finished laundry, but still gotta tackle that tonight. We bought some new soaps. Soap, soap, soap. The girls are gonna help me choose which one. Let's smell some. Let's smell It's always some. exciting uh, when you run ow. out of soap. Because we get to buy soap. Okay, which one? I uh, have two cards. I want this one in my bathroom. No. I'll open this. I'll, I'll smell it. Mommy. Wait, did you even smell this one yet? No. Yes. Ew. I know it smells good. It smells very bad. That's the I rose can one. You smell it. Can you, I can just smell yeah, it. Yeah, can you smell it? Here. Oh, uh, no, no, no. That's too cinnamon. Can you smell the teddy bear? The teddy bear. Okay, smell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, God, I want this one. This one smells great. Mm -hmm. right. You want to smell it? I do that one. Mm -hmm. Bathroom. Funny, this one is called Crisp Morning Air, but it straight up smells like their country apple scent. Mm. <laughs> I want to try some. I want to try. No, no you're using that one. You're using this, this one. one because it smells so good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. you could you like this good one? Choice. Thank you. you. Like this one? Mm-hmm. You ready to brush your teeth, right? No, 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 no. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Mia, did you brush your teeth, Mia? Good night, viewers. Sorry, I just turned off the light. Good night, viewers. Bye. See you tomorrow morning. Night, night. Enjoy the vlog. Thumbs up if you like the video and smash that subscribe button. Don't smash it. Okay, just press it. <laughs> Bye. It's so weird with Benji being overseas. I feel like I miss him 10 times more than if he were just in California or New York. It literally feels like he's in a whole different planet. Times like this, I'm really happy that I have the girls because I don't feel lonely at all. And especially since they're kind of rowdy, our home is just never dull. It's never empty. So it's comforting to have the kids, but I really miss Benji. Bye, Filma. Get unready with me. I hear the kids listening to JoJo. Her music is so Jojo. <laughs>